Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. The latest version of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop version 5.2 is now available and started rolling out a short while ago today on the 6th of April 2022. Now with this latest stable release there are three main features and upgrades worth mentioning. The first is that the reading list is now available in the sidebar and you can also sync it across various devices like your Android uh, device and phone and you can also check on the number of trackers and ads being blocked from profiling you and the third main upgrade is that because the browser is based on the open source chromium platform it has also been upgraded now to chromium version 100 just like some of your other mainstream chromium web browsers like google chrome microsoft edge and the brave web browser now according to the release notes um with uh, version 5.2 uh Exactly six years ago, Vivaldi says they launched the first version of the browser. So today, Vivaldi is six years old, and I thought that was just some interesting information. Now, regarding the first new feature worth mentioning is the reading list. Now, the reading list is actually not a new feature. It has been available now for some time in the top right-hand corner as a button uh, where you can show your reading list, where you can access uh, the articles that you have saved in your reading list and just view them by clicking on each of those uh, different articles in the reading list. Now with the rollout of version 5.2, um, it's now been added to the side panel and the sidebar with a couple of new options. And another way to add more pages to your reading list, if you didn't know, is through quick commands where you just say add page to reading list. Now just to mention some of those options available in the sidebar with the reading list, um, you can obviously, as we can see, you can search through those articles. You can add the current page to your reading list. You can delete it. You can set it set it as read. You have some sort by options. Um, you can um, mark as read. You can just uh, uh, click on the tick to mark it as read for each different article. And then if you right click on an article, you have some options. You can open, copy address, mark as read, and you can also remove it. So those are some of the options available now for the reading list which is now available in the sidebar and um, as mentioned the reading list can sync across your different devices and according to the release notes um, for version 5.2 um, you can sync your reading progress even on the go across all your sync devices and they say because Vivaldi is now available on Android phones, tablets, Chromebooks um, the reading list and the articles you save on your phone can be viewed on your computer or the other way around and obviously though you need to be signed in um, to, with your Vivaldi account on those different devices to access and sync your reading list across those different devices. Now if we just uh, uh, mention the second uh, new feature worth mentioning is the Vivaldi's new tab page, the start page, um, now displays uh, privacy st uh, statistics as we can see and it displays the total number of ads and trackers that the browser has blocked and if you click on more information um, as we can see uh, it displays additional information including a full list of all the websites and trackers that it has blocked so I think this is a nice new privacy upgrade to the browser especially if you are privacy focused and privacy con concerned when browsing and if you don't want the um, uh, the uh, these privacy uh, statistics um, on your new tab or your start page you can just head to the start page the show quick settings in the top right hand corner the gear icon and you can just toggle off privacy statistics and if you want it back depending on your preference you can just toggle it back on and this is very similar now uh, to the feature on the new tab page of the brave web browser which just Gives you access to the trackers and ads that are blocked so some might like this feature and some might not want it where you can just disable it in those uh, show quick settings and then just some other um, uh, key changes worth mentioning in Vivaldi uh, 5.2 is the search engine quant according to the release notes is available again um, as a default search engine in version 5.2 and to switch to it you just select Vivaldi menu settings and search and then if you have multiple tabs open um, Vivaldi says that the tab dragging now should be faster and smoother in this new release 
um, according to the release notes. And also, once again, like most upgrades to the browser, there are now improvements to the mail and the calendar uh, that are built into the browser. But there's not nothing actually specifically mentioned in the release notes um, regarding those improvements. But with every upgrade, the mail calendar and feed reader do get some minor improvements and upgrades to those features. Now, if we just head uh, quickly to the release notes for version 5.2, over and above those key new features I've mentioned, if we just head to the main change log, uh, which is quite detailed, a change log from version 5.1 to 5.2, over and above the new key features I've mentioned, there are a lot of add-ons, improvements, changes, and bug fixes, and too many to mention in this video, as you can see, and I will leave a link to the release notes down below for you to go check out more in depth if you are interested. Now, to see if you have this latest version, you just head to your menu, go to help, and you just check for updates, um, and if it hasn't done so already, this will update you to the latest version, and if we just head back to the menu, this time we go to help and click on about. The latest version now for the stable release of the browser is 5.2.2623.24. And as mentioned, the latest Chromium version now is at 100.0.4896.81. And um, as mentioned, that puts it in line now with all the other mainstream Chromium web browsers and this will also include all the improvements and important security updates that have rolled out uh, to the Chromium platform with Chrome version 100 and it's just also interesting to note that with the rollout of version 5.2 uh, Vivaldi went from Chrome version 98 jumped version 99 and went straight to version 100 so I thought that was also interesting so that's more or less what's new in the latest stable release of the browser version 5.2 mainly the uh, reading list in the sidebar the trackers and ads blocked appearing on your start page and the upgrade to chromium version 100 so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one